Extract 1. Questions 1 to 12. You hear an endocrinologist talking to a patient called Mihira. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Good morning, Mihira. Please, have a seat. How can I help you today? Thank you, Dr. Haynes. I've been feeling quite self-conscious lately due to excessive hair growth on my face and body. It's particularly noticeable on my chin, upper lip, and around my abdomen. I understand. This can be quite distressing for many women. Can you tell me how long you've been experiencing this unwanted proliferation? It's been gradually getting worse over the past two years, but it seems to have accelerated in the last two months. I'm worried it might keep getting worse. It's affecting my confidence, and I'm honestly quite embarrassed about it. Have you noticed any other new symptoms, like irregular periods, weight gain, or acne? Now that you mention it, my periods have become less frequent lately, and I have been putting on weight despite not changing my diet or exercise routine. Interesting. Mihira, do you have any family history of hormonal problems? Actually, yes. My mother was diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome in her late 30s. Could that be related? That's a valuable detail. Have you tried anything to manage this unwanted hair growth? Perhaps shaving, waxing, or any creams? I've tried everything. Waxing, shaving, even laser hair removal, but the hair keeps coming back. I've also read about herbal remedies online, but I'm hesitant to try anything without consulting a doctor. It's good, Mihira, that you haven't taken any unregulated supplements. There's limited evidence for their effectiveness, and some can even be harmful. Hirsutism can be caused by an underlying hormonal imbalance, and PCOS is a potential cause. Doctor, what can be done right now? Now, considering your symptoms and family history, PCOS is a possibility. This hormonal imbalance can cause excessive or abnormal hair growth, irregular periods, and weight gain. Mahira, to confirm this, we might need some further tests. A blood test can measure your hormone levels, and an ultrasound scan of your ovaries can check for polycystic cysts. Ultrasound? What about treatment options? Is there anything I can do to manage this condition? Absolutely, Mihira. If the tests confirm PCOS, we can discuss treatment options like birth control pills to regulate your hormones and potentially reduce hair growth. All right, that sounds manageable. We can also explore other hair removal methods like prescription medications or electrolysis. Of course, these require a consultation with a dermatologist to ensure they're suitable for your skin type. Okay, I got it. However, it's important to manage PCOS holistically. Maintaining a healthy weight with a balanced diet and regular exercise can significantly improve symptoms. That makes sense. Having a clear plan feels much better than feeling lost about this. When will I get the test results? The blood test results should be back within a few days. We can schedule the ultrasound scan for next week and discuss a treatment plan once we have all the information. In the meantime, focus on healthy lifestyle habits and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you so much, Dr. Haynes. I feel much more hopeful now. Extract 2. Questions 13 to 24. You hear a family physician talking to a patient called Mihira. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes.
Good morning Mihira. Please, have a seat. What brings you in today? Thank you, Dr. Cater. It's my right leg, actually. It's been quite swollen for the past few days. I see. Can you tell me a little more about your condition? When did it first start? Well, it's hard to say exactly. Maybe a week ago. It wasn't too bad at first, but it seems to be getting worse. Now, it's quite painful, especially when I stand for too long. Are you experiencing any redness or itching in the area? No, not really. Just the swelling and the pain. It seems to be getting bigger and a bit tender to the touch. Have you had any recent injuries to your leg Mahira, any falls or accidents? No accidents, thankfully. Have you tried anything to help with the swelling at home? Yes, I've been elevating my leg when I can and using a topical anti-inflammatory ointment, diclofenac, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Hmm, okay. I even tried soaking it in warm salt water, but nothing seemed to work. Thank you for that information Mihira. Given your history of liver problems, this swelling could be a sign of fluid retention. Oh, that's concerning. Don't worry Mihira, it's just a possibility. To get a clearer picture, I'd like to order some tests. We'll need a blood and a urine test to assess your liver function as well as protein levels respectively. Okay, that sounds like a plan. In the meantime, I'd recommend continuing to elevate your leg when possible and avoid wearing tight clothing around your ankle. We might also need to consider a diuretic medication depending on the test results. What's that for? It's a medication designed to assist your body in eliminating surplus fluid, potentially alleviating the swelling. Okay. Do you want me to come back for the test results? Absolutely Mihira. My nurse will be in touch to schedule a follow-up appointment once we have the results. In the meantime, if the swelling worsens significantly or you experience any new symptoms like fever or abdominal pain, please don't hesitate to come back or call the office. Sure, but what about treatment? Mihira, once we have the test results, we can determine the best course of action. However, in the meantime, wear compression stockings to help reduce the swelling. Okay, I can buy those. Excellent. Additionally, it might be wise to cut back on your salt intake as that can worsen your condition. Will do. Thank you Dr. Cater. That is the end of part A. Now check the answers.